I'm Susan Holifield. I've been painting for about the last 10 to 15 years. I take classes at this facility, which has really helped me to find my paintings. And I do it for relaxation. When you paint, you can be in another world and close everything else out. Um, I would say that you need to take classes. The, I kind of started out with crafty kind of things like Santa Clauses and, and snowmen and was self-taught. And um, my son actually told me if I painted one more Santa Claus or one more snowman, he wasn't looking at it anymore. And so then I had a friend who was an art teacher for the grade school and he looked at my stuff and was extremely critical and goes, oh, your lighting's not right, your colors aren't right here. And, and he finally said, you need to take some classes. And I said, I'd love to, but I don't know where. And he's the one that turned me to McLean County Arts Center. Color is probably the most challenging is trying to mix the right color trying to add the right colors to get the right color. So I like things bright. Red has always been one of my favorites. Purple has been one of my favorite colors to put in a painting. Um, so color is really important. It makes the pa painting pop, but it's the values that really do give it dimension. I started out doing landscapes because that was basically what the instructor was teaching. And I liked doing landscapes, but I found that I liked doing still lifes a lot better. I ran across a painting in, out east when I was traveling that had a tool and a piece of fruit, and I thought that was a very interesting combination. So I started with the saw and the cabbage, and then I thought, well, a coconut needs a hammer. And then I went on to um, trying to find a drill, an old-fashioned drill. And my neighbor happened to have one. So setting it up with a watermelon, I tried a um, grapefruit, and that just wasn't proportionally acceptable. It was too small, so we tried the watermelon. And I just find that very interesting. I'm now kind of in the market for antique tools and to put them with some kind of vegetable or fruit and I just like that kind of still life. Well when I'm doing glass, the most rewarding is that it just looks very flat to begin with. And you're working with all kinds of shades usually grays and and whites and and tinting them and getting it all and then all of a sudden one stroke just makes the whole painting pop and glisten and I always wait for that one moment and I get a little impatient sometimes when it doesn't come well I'd like to do more of the tools and the fruit and have a complete series of that um, you know, it's just whatever hits you. I really like the artists that uh, paint and their paintings very dark um, and to bring out whatever characteristic they're trying to bring out in that. I'd like to get better at that. Um, it's just whatever moves me at the time. Sometimes it's a memory. Maybe um, if you look at the bowl of lemons. Maybe your mom had lemons that was always on the table and it promotes a feeling and a memory. And that's great. And sometimes it doesn't and that's okay too. It is and it's pretty exciting even though it's a small exhibition. I, it, it kind of makes, it gives you affirmation of your work. Um, you don't always get that from your relatives. <laughs>